Uh, let's talk a bit about this sexual abuse. That is the intimate partner abuse we're talking about. But before we go into that, let's go and look at this video. This clip trended like a couple of days ago. Uh, I don't know. Some people are saying it is a skit, but some people are saying it happened for real. I do not know if it's a skit or it really happened, but it looked real enough to me. But anyways, uh, this will set the pace for our discussion on sexual abuse during this lockdown. Let's go and check out the clip on this couple uh, on the streets of Lagos. We'll be back. And video lower say. Eight zero two eight three six eight nine seven one and oh seven oh three five seven oh nine four oh seven. Those are the two numbers to use to uh, contribute to the program today. Let's talk domestic violence or intimate. <laughs> why are we laughing? Intimate partner, partner abuse. All right, ma'am. Yeah, I, I want to say that uh, that's it's just uh, it's a very. I won't say it's interesting, but that's the reality. Mm, it's in some, it's, it's, it's some in some cases. I don't mm. think that uh, video was uh, tutored in any way. Mm. I also want to say that um, I I am happy that this happened for people to understand that sexual issue is not really something that is very very private, because if that woman, there are a lot of women who are in that situation, but they are not happy about it, mm -hmm. and they channel that anger into something else. And what you hear is that oh. Uh, probably he has poisoned the man or he has done something and for her to have share her feelings I think that's what they, they, uh, uh, um, a lot of men go into some of all these drugs to be able to enhance them to stay you know much more have uh, mixtures you know and all kinds of things we see that I don't think uh, that's the best thing for her sexual and reproductive health at, at rights and health at this time it's something that couple need to understand that you need to be in a very good mood to you know to be able to get engage in it but it's not just because you are a man or because you are a woman or because she's my wife yes, I own her. And just grab her exactly and you have sex with yeah. her it's something that they should have sat down to understand that this is this is uh, what i can take and this is what i cannot take i don't think this woman ever screamed ever before now but probably she can no longer cope and there is no uh, she's no longer enjoying it and that's why she has to come out so i think that uh, people should respect people's feelings when it comes to issues about uh, mm. sexual relationship but i want us to put into perspective the mentality of a majority of nigerian men who assume that as long as you're married to that woman she becomes yours yes, in all his entirety you know what i mean become more like a, a, a property so you can do 
as you like, as you will, no, with, no, with that no, woman. No, no, I don't think the, the man. Let me land, ma'am. Yeah. Because if we don't put that into perspective, for a lot of the men, uh, because people still keep telling you there's nothing like spousal rape, mm -hmm. because they don't see how that is even possible in the first place. So I want you to actually let us know where to draw the line. For the past, uh, for the past, uh, for about six months now, I've had about six cases of issues about sex within marriage and uh, you discover is either the man not getting enough or the woman not getting enough intimate relationship and i think that couple need to understand that that it's a mutual thing it's not something being whether you are paid the bright price or whether you are the one is the head of the house and other that does not give you uh, ultimate ownership of her feelings Mm. because you need to be in that mood to be able to understand the other person mm. so if you think that um, you see some people there was one that told me excuse me ma, the reason why I don't even go close to him is because that's his boxer mm. he wears it for two months before he will, he will wash it <laughs> and so I'm put off even there are times I take that boxer whether he needs it to do something I don't know I think that people should respect the other person's feelings exactly but the fact that you are you are a husband mm. it's not automatic that one's special uh, sexual feelings should not be respected of course there's conjugal rape if you don't want it i don't want it you should find out what mood i am they just believe you come in they are, you know, before you know it one minute they are gone and all that so it's it's something that has to be respected and then the women too i think that what has also happened over here because i do a lot of uh, intimate partner uh, counseling mm. you will realize that women have been enduring they keep quiet because if they talk out the society will say why you see that woman a lot of people are going to blame her mm. to say why did you come out why did you you should you know it's not something you should talk about but we need to express express the women need to express themselves and talk about what they like and what because Sexuality in marriage is about your like, your pleasure, your dislike, what you want and what you don't want. Mm. And you should be able to express it. That makes us partner. That makes us friends. That makes us... I mean, if you cannot discuss, guy, I don't enjoy this or I'm enjoying this, then why are we in a relationship? Please, Olusola. Well, uh, sexual relationship, I understand them. One, the sexual libido of favor, both parties are not always saying. Mm. Mostly when you are married to somebody that have it has urge, yes. You, you, it's difficult for you to satisfy such partner. And the reason why the rate is raising on day, be, within this period is like, I understand that most men cheat on their wives with side cheats. Mm -hmm. The situation where they can't have their way out now, who they have around them, they always want to urge their sexual, that release their sexual, sexual urge. Hmm. So sexual relationship, after both 40 to 50 percent Africans believe once you are married to a woman, you have all her to yourself. You get the demand. Every time you want it, she can't say no. Yes. Okay. Then you have to put it into understanding. Though you got, you don't expect both of you to have the urge at the same time, based on the understanding on how both of you play the game of the love. Some, some men are not romantic, some women are not also romantic. 50 of the so they are. just want to have you just like that. Hmm. So we still have this understanding with their wife, they're expecting the wife to ask for sex, hmm. either maybe because she needs child or whatever. Then from there they capitalize. But if such woman have her way, having her children, of course, she would love to block the room of having sex with his spouse. So I believe if both parties, the couples can understand themselves, discuss sex as you discuss other important things in like your marriage. Know. Sex should be discussed. It should not be something you wake up overnight, you want to have the person at your way. So many women have complained. I've seen so many married women that have come to complain of their husband's inability to satisfy them. Mm -hmm. And some that tried to do that, they taught them to be wayward. But as a married woman, what, who, where else did you expect the person to get sexual satisfaction other than the husband? We shouldn't be. Then aside that, aside from the couples that 
are complaining on a daily basis on sexual abuse or inability to satisfy, we still have gender sexual abuse. Like I was called this morning that a man, a, a, a man of 50-something uh, years raped his daughter from Abuja, other from Lagos, but a, a, a 11 years girl was impregnated this period by a neighbor. Hmm. And so many cases like that. So the, 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 the once people are not giving room of stepping out of their places, there is this tendency of committing one other crime or the other. And sexual crime is the easiest crime people commit in, in, in every angle from both sex, both male and female. So we did this period, I think the, what we have uh, covered so far, I believe government should talk more on that aspect and mm. what uh, measure should be put in place outside we uh, civil society organization that are try, trying to put one on one or one or two together to fix up the home. Government should okay. provide their own uh, and avenue of action. I want to add, yes, and now I want to, yeah. I want to add what my sister just said, that one of the critical reasons why they, if you ask a lot of people why do they want to get into a relationship or being married they will never tell you because you can sexually satisfy me or whatever people are just entering into this relationship yeah. because they feel i'm ready to that's yeah. one two i'm old enough i'm old enough I'm old to old enter enough. and then you now enter into it if i tell you based on a little bit of survey that i've done 60 percent of crisis within partners is as a result of sexual relationship yes. and they never talk it no matter how you bring them to the table except now that people are talking they will tell you oh she's not cleaning the house very well i went i came in she didn't they dance clean. around the issue yeah. they never okay. talk because we weren't socialized to talk about how we feel yeah mm. especially the with women we are the Muslim does not support everybody we are out to, like, don't talk about sex yeah. don't mention it if you you know the man doesn't know either he doesn't know, he just know that, yes, I am going to. The woman also must not talk about it. In short, when they look at you and say, yes, she's, she's ripe because of all the something. Ripe about what? You must not talk about it. I remember I, I once had a case because I'm a marriage counselor in the church. And I used to tell them, what happens? Have you ever negotiated issues about sex and all that? And I, one of them told me that... Uh, there was a case there he told the husband, I'm not satisfied. You just come and just go say, Hey, mm. look at you. No, call what her do you want me to do, want me to do so die to nah. so do something like that? But that's it. I, I, you know, I just wonder if I cannot discuss some of all these issues with your so called partner, who else will you do it? You know, a, and that leads to a lot of infidelity and, and, yeah. and all that. So I don't justify uh, reasons why people should go outside their marriage, but then. I'm sex sure that if you sit down and discuss about it, yeah. and if we let go about holding on to sex issues as something you must not or talk about. People, Even in churches now, we talk about sexuality and marriage, yes. and we are looking at what is the makeup of this man, what is the makeup of the, Can you ever have time to discuss it? Yeah. And if you are free with your partner, you can discuss this. You can say, no, this night I don't want it, or the other night. I, and then some women use the, the, the issue about sex as... Um, <laughs> A major to, to a weapon, a weapon to tell the husband, you, uh, me, is it me? You are not having it today. <laughs> so these are issues we need to, to let. But you know that is quite debatable. We have argued this at this table once before, because of how our society is structured. Mm. The man most times has the upper hand. Mm. So the woman, Never that is, mean. I understand what you mean, but that is the only. To the thing the woman really has, yeah. you know, uh, that makes the man oh, well listen, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. So, some women use it not because they are that wicked, but because that is the only thing the that person, makes the man the listen, the that gets the attention of the man. Let me give you an instance some men don't give their wives money for whatever reason, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm saying this based on people I've interacted with yeah. and they've told me so, but when it comes to the, the nightly duties and all of that so she's ready for him and she's like if you don't give me that money because that is the only way she can get anything from him do you know my wife gave me 
But your side, your side chick, but that's, your side chick bills you too, anyways. So side chick, they pay their rent, they, they they take them out and things like that. She's your wife, exactly. Okay, all right. So we're going to come back and talk about what does the law say really about these issues, you know? But uh, Onye Chuku from Ikorodu says, Lady P, with that video, why must the woman refuse her husband sex and the man is wrong following her wife, following his wife rather outside in the name of sex? It's better the man finds a side chick nearby. Really? 